Hi friends, in this video, we are going to look at carbon dioxide preparation. We are going to learn how is carbon dioxide usually prepared in the laboratory. So for you to do that, you need to know the equipment and the setup required. We shall start with our Conco flask. You can use any other flask that can help you store the solid reactant. In this case, we are starting with calcium carbonate, also known as marble chips. These ones will react with another liquid in the process to produce carbon dioxide. So when you look at this setup, we need a cork. We shall somehow cover or seal the conco flask with the help of a cork because it helps us retain the gaseous products that are formed in the reaction that we are going to see very soon. So in the equation, we shall write carbon di calcium carbonate solid. The S shows the state symbol for this reactant. We shall need a dropping funnel, although this two funnel can do the same function. So in our dropping funnel, we shall put here our dilute hydrochloric acid. So the liquid portion usually is put in a funnel, while the solid portion is put in the conical flask. So we shall write our hydrochloric acid in our equation because these are the two reactants basically needed in the lab preparation of carbon dioxide gas. We shall need a water trough because in this setup, we are going to look at carbon dioxide that is not required dry. When you look at dry carbon dioxide preparation, we have a, a unique setup. So when you say water trough, just know that we are not going to prepare dry carbon dioxide gas because you can't prepare something dry and then pass it through water. So we shall need a delivery tube to connect the two setups, the water trough and the conco flask. We shall also use a beehive shelf to support our gas jar where we shall collect our carbon dioxide. So initially in this setup, you have to ensure that your gas jar is full of water to the brim such that there is no air in the gas jar at the moment. Not until you open this tap for the dropping funnel, the dilute hydrochloric acid will then pour onto the calcium carbonate, causing evolution of carbon dioxide gas. The carbon dioxide gas will then travel through the delivery tube into the water trough. Because usually most gases are less dense than, than water, you will see the carbon dioxide gas in form of bubbles moving upwards, later on displacing the water in the gas jar. So the water in the gas jar will move downwards while the water in the water trough will increase in height. So we shall have downward displacement of water by carbon dioxide. Because carbon dioxide is slightly soluble in water, we can collect it by this method. However, sometimes they can use warm water to reduce its solubility much more. So this is basically the setup needed in the lab preparation of carbon dioxide, however, not dry carbon dioxide gas. So completing our equation, we shall see that our carbon dioxide, which is stored in our gas jar, will be as follows. So we shall have calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid to form the soluble salt, calcium chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. This is why we don't use sulfuric acid because here we could have formed an insoluble salt, but this one is soluble, so the reaction usually continues to completion. In this case, our equation is balanced with a two. Remember, the, use, the advantage of using downward displacement of water is that we can see the volume of our carbon dioxide that's being trapped in this gas jar. Let's have a look at our top three questions. So you can feel free to pause the video and try out these questions. Why is dilute hydrochloric acid, acid used and not dilute sulfuric acid? Why is it possible to collect carbon dioxide gas over water? In case carbon dioxide is required dry, what adjustments can be made in the setup? You can post your answers or doubts in the comment section below. I'll be willing to give my, my view about your doubts and probably my answers concerning your questions. So feel free to try them out now or sometime to come. Okay, yes, thanks for watching. Yes, like, share and comment and have a good day.